Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. So if like me you find yourself messing with cars, especially with a lot of the DIY jobs that I do, cars are just getting more and more complicated and what you'll find is you're going to come up against error codes and different things with the computers now that you just didn't have in cars historically. So one of the most useful things in recent years that I've used is a scan gauge. So it connects to your OBD port and it will read you sort of different temperatures and things like that. It will be able to read you the engine management codes and it will give you maybe like a P0012 or something like that type code, which you can then go on, onto Google and try and find out. And it'll help you clear some of those. But as you've seen on the channel, we're getting sort of, I'm working on more complicated cars, crash damage, etc. I just need that extra bit of information and extra functionality that this just doesn't provide anymore. So I started looking on the market to see what examples I could find that would be able to help me at a reasonable DIY price because a lot of the tools are aimed at obviously a garage. I'm not a garage. I've not got this big budget to finance tools to be able to work on the cars. So I wanted to find a budget friendly option. Okay, so I reached out on social media to just see what anyone around me was using. And I got some recommendations in terms of scan gauge and ultra gauge and things like that. But I just wanted something that was just that, had that bit more functionality. Luckily, Foxwell picked up on that post and actually reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to actually try the NT710 on my car and see if it would actually do the job of what I was after. So they sent me out a unit, um, which I want to show you today do a bit of a review and this is an honest review yes they've sent me the unit um, but i want to actually see whether it will meet the need for my car so this is the unit that foxwell actually sent me so you can see it's nice handy size much bigger than that scan gauge so if we just show you the screen difference you can see there's a massive difference and with that comes functionality as well so it's a subscription-based service so it's how they allow you to sort of have a more entry price point so what you'll do is you purchase this you get the choice of one manufacturer so for me obviously i've picked bmw because that covers mini as well as bmws so this now allows me to work on my r53 any second generations and obviously the third generation f56 behind me what you're able to do then as well is actually from a subscription model is pay extra for any other manufacturers and what that means is you're not paying for all the software for all cars so it brings the price point down on these to a much cheaper alternative to some of the more sort of uh, garage friendly solutions where obviously they have to walk, work on multiple cars on a daily basis as a diy you may only work on a limited amount so let's say i wanted to do something on the van I could go into the software on here and actually download the Ford software, pay a single one-off charge and add Ford to mine. And as I go through, if I want to work on the Defender, I can add Land Rover as an example. But it means I've, I don't have that big, huge up cost, upfront cost of all the software and I can choose actually how expensive I want to make it by selecting the additional manufacturers. So you get one built in, like I say, so I pick Mini and then obviously you can then go and add to that. You have the ability to send screenshots, check live data, read engine management code. So if you're getting some uh, an engine management code, which is normally just a light that pops up on your dashboard with a little engine symbol, this will actually tell you what it is. But there's much more than that. That's just limited to what obviously the previous gauge can do. This allows you to do some of the servicing and the testing side of things. So if you're unsure if your switches are working in the car, so let's say your, your washer jets aren't working when you flick the stalk, you can actually go in and test those. So I actually did that earlier today and you're able to activate it just via the software. So actually, if there's a problem with the switch, you can check that the functionality is working and then you know that obviously your stalk's not working. So it's really useful for sort of diagnosing problems with the car. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just jump into the car, connect it up and actually show you some of the functionality that we can get. So I've talked a lot about it. Let's actually see it in action and actually i'll give you an idea of what i really think of it and if it's useful and i think you should actually spend your money on it or not as the case may be so let's jump inside the f56 we'll get it connected up and see what it can do okay so if we just jump into my mini now so down here we've got the obd port and all we do plug the cable in okay so now we've got the cable plugged into the car we plug the cable into the top of the unit then what we want to do is with the mini is just put the ignition into position one so let's just put the key in the car 
lights will switch on on the dashboard and then we just wait for this to connect up. And all we do, we press diagnostic and then we select mini and we've got the smart VIN option. We can do that. Please input manually, but it's actually pre-populated it on mine so I can hit OK. It tells me what my VIN number is, the car, the engine, is that the right one? Yes. And then we're able. And it'll do, it'll switch the ignition off so all the lights have gone off on the dashboard. It's counting down. Ignition will switch back on. You just heard, heard all the bongs in the car. Now it's reading the data on the car itself. Perfect, and you can see there, we've got diagnostic service, special functions and advanced functions. Okay, so this isn't a full run through, but what I wanna just show you is we've got diagnostics. We can do a quick scan, and what that'll do, check all the modules on the car and tell you if you've got any faults, any current or past that have potentially been picked up and stored in the computers on the car. So already I'm seeing a mixture of passes and faults. So it'll give you a count of faults. So against the BCM, for example, I'm showing fault. Cars crash damage, so I expect this hasn't had a full reset of codes. So I expect there to be plenty in there. So it's still going through and just working. So we can see we've got lots of faults. So on the BCM, for example, we can tap that and we can see actually read the codes and see what the problem is so it's talking about headlock driver module left no lin slave whatever that means but we can reset all this because obviously with it being a crash damaged car there was a lot of issues so what i want to do is hit the erase button down here and that should clear all the faults and then what will happen is we can scan the car again once it's cleared everything, so it's just going through and clearing them now, turning the ignition on and off, it can see if actually those codes persist and whether we've actually rectified the issues or not. So we'll come back once that's cleared everything off. Okay, so now that's cleared everything, we can do a quick scan again and get it to scan through. And hopefully we shouldn't get too many faults. So the BCM that we're showing them or the body domain controllers had BDC was actually showing some before. That's now all cleared. So at the moment, we've only got one fault showing and we're 46% of the way through. So you can see that's scanning 73%. So I think we've only got one persistent fault, which is really good to see. And obviously, because we've got this extra functionality, we can go into here now and actually read the code to understand what the problem is. So we've got this radiator blind missing, and that's a permanent issue. I actually know what that is. So on the front of my car, I've got a larger intercooler. So it's an AirTech aftermarket one. You have to remove the radiator blind, which I think is the active aero that they have for the radiator on an F56. So I would expect that to actually be there. So I have no concerns that that error message is still showing. Okay, so one of the things you can do is go into control modules. And this is where you have the testing functionality. So if you go drive, and body control modules so you can see again you can go through and check all the information about them we've got this activate tests at the bottom so one of the things i was talking about earlier is wash wipe system so let's say the stalk on the car when you did it, did it nothing worked you could actually see whether it was a stalk or not because you can run the washer pump so if you hit see here it gives a washer pump test where it activate the windscreen washer for three seconds we activate it and you'll hear in the background there, it's actually spraying the car. That's the sort of level of functionality. You can go in and control lots of things, whether it's window modules. So if we go back, there's rear wipe, heat, rear heating, central locking testing, even the horn. Let's say your horn, when you press it, it's not working. You can actually see whether your horn's not working or whether it's the airbag and the horn activation. So again, you can activate. You can see the horns working on the car. So I think in that video there, I've only scratched the surface of what actually this little tablet can do, but I'm really excited to get using it on all of the builds, especially 
sort of working on this F56 because it's just so much more complicated than the R53. But even with the R53, it's going to come in really useful as we're building that car. Obviously, the whole engine loom is going to be swapped on it. So I think a tool like this could actually help diagnose any sort of issues that we may have. So thanks to Foxwell for sending that out. I think for me, it's a big thumbs up in terms of this and I can't wait to use it in the future. So if you liked today's video, please hit that thumbs up button to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get alerts every time we upload new content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.